Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Jordan and today I'm going to be completing the last course on the list for Maneuvering 1 and it's called Complete a Short Stretch in New York. Uh, I'm pretty excited to get this done with, get this over with. We just completed the exam in the last upload. Um, but yeah, here we go. So let me get the Complete a Short Stretch in New York up on the screen here. And let's get into it. All right, here we go. So here's the mission mission briefing. Um, complete a short stretch in New York. You start in the Erie Basin near the New York IKEA, and your destination is the Atlantic Basin Harbor. Stop between the four yellow buoys in the destination harbor. And we're in Leocadia. Awesome. You know, great way to cap off the. Uh, the Maneuvering One series by finishing in the ship we've been playing in the most, so. Okay, so on the map, you can see, I believe this is the start point right here. Uh, we, we're gonna go out this way, up along the coastline, and then we're gonna turn into this harbor here. Um, so it doesn't look overly complicated. It actually doesn't even look like a, a long distance. I mean, it says short stretch. I, I'm, I'm inclined to believe them. This seems very short. Um, we do have time, 30 minutes, um, but I don't think it's going to take 30 minutes. Um, in any case, let's let's get into it. Let's see what we're up against here. What just happened? I lost sound. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, I'm not moving currently. How the heck? We're, we're, we need a chart. This is my first time seeing um, the New York map, by the way, in uh, in Not As Home. I've seen it in previous titles from V-Step, but first time in Not As Home. And let me tell you, my computer hasn't struggled at all with this game, although it is it does sound like a jet plane when I boot the game up and have it running, and I'm not gonna lie, my room my my studio room here gets quite hot when I'm recording because of how hot this game makes my computer run um, but this was the first time I loaded up a scenario and it took a long long time for it to come up and yeah it just maybe New York seems to have a lot more in, in it than other maps I don't know what's going on but um, okay so here's where we're at and we're gonna sail up into this harbor so can't really get any closer on them on the chart which is unfortunate but it's all good. I'm just gonna go forward. I'm gonna let us drift forward now since we're two knots and then I'm gonna use the bow thruster to f do the turn here. Uh, Cause we have to do this very narrow, this turn into this very narrow section. Ooh, we got a cruise ship nearby and that's not the, that doesn't look like the Clipper Canary model. I don't see the yellow on that. It doesn't look like the Clipper Canary. Interesting. Can I zoom in on it? Wait, why don't I see it? Oh, because it's over, uh, it's kind of hidden. Yeah, that's definitely not the Clipper Canary. I can tell by the funnel. I can see the Statue of Liberty there. Cool. Um, Alright, we're just gonna get this turning. I really want to see this ship, if I can like zoom in, get a close up. It doesn't have a name on- oh, yes it does. Figlio de 
antennati. <laughs> that's Italian right there, if I've ever seen it myself. Um, so this is a that's an Italian cruise ship that's not yet in the game. I'm I'm very certain of that. Um, it looks pretty cool. That's what I like about these scenarios. It kind of gives us a glimpse of what's coming or what's potentially coming. Um, I don't know if everything will be playable, but it would be cool if uh, we had some more options. But I mean, no pressure. There's a lot to do with what we currently have in terms of uh, devs needing to balance things and get it perfect, but also um, just in terms of the selection we have. There, there's a good selection, and we're we're they're they're saying that we're gonna have like what like ten new ships this year um, in the roadmap. So that's it's pretty cool. Just double checking that I'm okay here. I'm gonna kill the bow thruster because I'm pretty sure it has enough momentum to clear the quay here. I am drifting forward and I'm a little concerned by that because um, we are getting close. We're getting close to the quay, but I, I think I think I'm gonna clear it. Yeah, I'm clearing it. Okay. I'm gonna give it some forward momentum and then once we get going I'm gonna actually turn a little bit to avoid hitting the other side. Actually I could probably start that now so that the stern doesn't hit the quay. So close there. So close to hitting it. Was it this harbor or this one that I'm going to? I need to double check. Uh, briefing, briefing, where are you? Okay, yeah, it's the close one. This one here. Yeah, across from the island. So this is the harbor we're heading into actually, so we're really not far. We just have to go around here and then do a tight turn, sail into it, and then the spot is marked, but I can't see it from this distance, so once we get closer we should be able to see where, uh, where we're supposed to be parking.
See, where is the okay? That's the entrance is there. Okay, I need to kind of like estimate when I need to cut the engine and, and slow down to make the turn into that. Um, I didn't realize, but it looks like the top speed for Leo Cadia. I was gonna say it looks like it's nine knots, but now I'm climbing going up to 9.5. I'm not sure what the top speed is for Leo Cadia. I don't know if I've actually reached it yet in any of the scenarios. Is there wind? Oh, the wind's coming from behind. That's why I'm being pushed a little bit to the, the port side here. Some buoys over there. Um, oh, the parking spot is here. So basically, it's just do a nice sharp U turn. All right, I'm going to initiate a turn here. We're doing 10 knots right now. I am going to pull that back. reverse thrust and turn to the part port side uh, as well as engage the bow thruster to starboard uh, this is gonna help me straighten out so I can get into this harbor here and also get my speed down a bit to something more reasonable uh, I think keeping it low is gonna be the op a good option here I'm going to straighten out the rudder. Uh, we're slow enough that the bow thruster is going to start kicking in. And 
Alright, I'm gonna stop the reverse. There's the wake for the the, the bow thruster. Actually, I think I have enough momentum that it's gonna turn. Yeah, we're we're good. I'm gonna increase my speed again, at least to like 2.5, three knots, just to get forward, and then we'll do the the second turn here. Expertly done. I'm going to work on slowing the, sh the ship down now because uh, the bow thruster is going to do most of the work for this turn. And once we're in place, we can just go forward right into the, the spot.
All right, we're just sailing into position now. Alright, I'm going to reverse thrust now, get the speed down. I'm not sure what speed it needs to be at. Um, usually it finishes around like 1.5 knots, so we'll see. We'll see what it wants. Scenario completed. There we go. Maneuvering 1 is all done, guys. I'm really happy about that. Awesome. So 20 out of 20. Um, we had 9 minutes, 21 seconds left. Yeah, you successfully completed the scenario. Awesome. That's it for me on this one. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know uh, what you thought of this one down below. Also, let me know what you think of the whole series. The Maneuvering 2 courses, I'm going to be starting to upload those shortly. As well, I have, um, I have new exploration scenarios on the way too. So if you want to see those, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I post new content. For this one, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until next time, take care and I will see you soon.